if I'm going to throw a jab, I'm going to see you and throw a jab in your face. <laughs> I'm trying to help him. You yeah. don't want my, I, I tell you what, Dwight, you don't want my help, I won't say nothing. We'll see how it ends up for you. Royce Reed's and Dwight Howard's relationship ended nearly a decade ago. However, the former Orlando Magic dancer is now speaking about the challenges she faced in her relationship with Dwight, including instances of abuse. She is once again making headlines, exposing the NBA star. This time, she is not alone, as Shock has also spoken about how he mistreated his child and baby mama. Guy goes into a phone booth with a suit on, comes out with a cape on with an S on his chest. What was I supposed to call him? Dwight Howard. Royce Reed chatted with reality TV producer Carlos King, sharing some shocking details about their son's life and the challenges they faced under the athlete's influence in part two of a recent revealing interview. Reed and the former NBA All-Star were a couple for nearly three years in the early 2000s and had a son named Braylon Howard in 2007. They split up around 2009. After the breakup, Reed rarely discussed her ex thanks to an alleged gag order she reportedly signed before joining the cast of Basketball Wives in 2010. However, during her recent conversation with Carlos King, she claimed the agreement was no longer valid because Dwight shared pictures of Braylon online and talked about their son publicly. Reed also shared that despite years of legal battles, the three-time NBA Defensive Player of the Year invited her, Braylon, and at least one other mother of his children to quarantine with him at the beginning of the pandemic in 2020. She agreed so her son could spend time with his father, but the experience was far from pleasant. Reed clarified that she aimed to protect her son from influences that could harm the innocence of his childhood. However, despite her efforts, Dwight's home was filled with activities that contradicted her intentions, which could be harmful to her child's mental health. The Bethune Cookman University head cheerleading coach claimed, it was a lot of stuff that was going on. It was conversations going on with Braylon that I didn't appreciate. She even recounted an incident where she had to leave the house with her son Braylon due to inappropriate activities taking place, things that should never be exposed to children. Many fans have speculated that she was referring to adult wild parties, explaining why she felt the need to shield Braylon from such sensitive situations. She said, we escaped at like three o'clock in the morning, one morning during quarantine. There was a lot of activity happening that night prior that no children should ever see. And even I felt like I was walking through a twilight zone. Like we got people peeing in seats. We have people hanging off a balcony throwing up. Her statement offered further clarity, revealing that people at the house were intoxicated and Dwight was hosting parties without concern for his son or his child's mother. Throughout the interview, Reed hinted at having years of evidence of threats from Dwight stored on multiple phones. She mentioned that these devices serve as a safeguard, ensuring that her story would be told if something were to happen to her. This meant that Dwight was mentally abusing her and pressuring her to stay hush in front of the media to cover the dirt he had on his hands. She claimed, I feel like every day I'm looking over my shoulder. I feel like there's almost even a hit out on me because I am talking now. Reed is now speaking out after avoiding prison time in connection to a child neglect case involving her son Braylon, who was accused of allegedly acting inappropriately with another child, as reported by Radar Online. The child in question supposedly has a history of similar incidents that occurred in the past. In this instance, the former NBA dancer was held accountable when her child was accused of violating the judge's rules by associating with someone two years younger than him. She pleaded not guilty and surrendered to the police in March 2020. 22. She faces a third-degree felony charge that carries a potential sentence of up to five years in prison. An insider revealed what Reed said, getting my son back home in his own bed was important to me. Now I'm waiting for the court to dismiss the case. It's been over a year since I've waited for something to be done with this case. The case disrupted their regular household routine, requiring the then 14-year-old to spend nights at his grandparents' house for 18 months. Reed fulfilled the court's orders by completing 100 hours of community service and attending six weeks of parenting courses. However, currently Reed's son is 16 years old and he's closer to his mother than his father. He recently made headlines by exposing his father on his Instagram. He said, as of right now, I hate you. And I'm not saying this because someone told me to. I actually hate you. You don't talk to me at all. Once Layla gets as old as me, she's going to feel the same way. We made you a Roadblocks account so you could play with us when you were in Atlanta and we're here. Do you ever play on it? No, you don't even play with us. The only time you play with us is when we're with you. And that's rarely when we're with you. Every time we go to the house, we're always Mama V. All of our parents have said we don't need a nanny. I actually hate you. 
Royce Reed didn't hold back when she let loose on Dwight Howard in the Shade Room's comments. She called him evil and claimed he told a 12-year-old they were gay for not watching inappropriate stuff. Dwight Howard has five kids with five different moms, three boys and two girls. Braylon, the oldest, was born in 2007 to Royce Reed, who used to cheer for the Orlando Magic. Layla, Howard's oldest daughter, was born in 2010 to Tiffany Render. In December of that same year, Jade Howard came into the world, born to Canadian fitness model Hope Alexa. Dwight's second son, known as Dwight III or Trey, was born on June 13, 2013, to a woman named Christine Vest. His youngest child, David, was born on December 15, 2013, to real estate agent Melissa Rios, who sadly passed away from an epileptic seizure in 2020. Royce Reed then shared more, saying the former NBA champion asked her to sign a secrecy agreement NDA, after suggesting she become the matriarch in his polyamorous relationships. The former Orlando Magic cheerleader also accused Howard of paying people to spread negative stories about the mothers of his children. Finally, she claimed the incident involving Braylon and a minor happened while under Howard's supervision, leading to her child neglect charge due to Braylon's inappropriate behavior. It seems Dwight Howard's impact goes beyond his family, as he's had conflicts with others in the industry throughout his career. One notable figure he's had a beef with is none other than Shaquille O'Neal, also known as Shaq. One of the main reasons why Shaq and Howard have beef is Reed Royce. Dwight Howard's ex-girlfriend and mother of his child, Royce Reed, alleged that Shaquille O'Neal flirted with her while he was still married to Shawnee Anderson. In an interview with Carlos King on YouTube, Reed shared her experience on the reality TV show Basketball Wives, revealing the flirty text from Shaq during his marriage to Shawnee, who happened to be a producer of the show. She revealed, I had sent her a thread where her ex-husband had been texting me. Nothing ever happened. He actually cursed me out because I didn't want to talk to him. I wanted everything out to be in the open. I wanted her to see everything. So if anything happened or said, she knew it wasn't true. So while while Shawnee was married to Shaq, Shaq was texting you flirty messages. Yes, but this was when I was dancing. So, As a cheerleader. Yeah. Okay. Royce Reed's claims gained widespread attention, with a video posted on Instagram by The Neighborhood Talk quickly going viral. In response, Shaquille O'Neal implied that Reed might be seeking money, but notably, he did not directly deny her claims. He said, uh, somebody needs money. This particular incident made Dwight and Shaq's beef go a little deeper. Shaq has also criticized Dwight numerous times publicly. Once Shaquille O'Neal criticized certain Lakers for going overboard and celebrating their recent NBA championship, he also directed his comments toward Dwight Howard. On the big podcast with Shaq, he said, you know what I don't like as a player though? There are a lot of players on their little Instagram bragging like they were the reason they got the championship. I ain't gonna say no names. Sit your A down, you didn't do anything. Stop it, stop it, front runner, bandwagon jumper. Stop it, don't be talking to me like you know, player. Sit your A down, stop it. Post one pic and sit your A down. You ain't do nothing. When news about Dwight Howard's performances surfaced, Shaquille O'Neal commented on it. Downplaying the significance of the statistics, he said, you should never be complimented for being a good fighter because that's what you're supposed to do. He's supposed to have 30 points playing against a dude 5'8". Good job, Shaq said. This league reminds me of a lifetime fitness league every Saturday when I go work out on Saturday. Great job, Dwight. I'm proud of you. After hearing Shaq's comments, Dwight Howard took to Instagram Live to directly respond to the NBA legend. He said, The world is too big to hate on another man. I've never in my life hated on you as a man, as a basketball player, or anything like that. Have I joked about or mimicked your voice? Have I mimicked what I see on TV? Everybody does that. Comedians do that. People do that all the time. And I do that all the time, but I do not hate on people. I know I show love to everyone in the world. Stop hating. I saw a video of you talking about me playing basketball in Taiwan, and I'm playing at a lifetime fitness league. Do not disrespect my teammates and this league and these people in Taiwan like that, he continued. That is highly disrespectful and it's hating. You're too old to be hating. You're too big to be hating. You're supposed to be Superman, the original Superman. The irony lies in Dwight Howard's claim of loving everyone in the world, while his own son Braylon alleges that he doesn't provide them with the time and care they need, leading to hatred towards their father. In the midst of all this, numerous fans have shown sympathy towards Royce Reed and her son. She's bravely shouldering the responsibility of raising him alone, given Dwight's apparent busyness, leaving little time for his own child. 
Concerns are growing about the potential impact on the young boy exposed to adult issues amid his father's busy lifestyle. This has prompted many to raise eyebrows and speculate about what else Dwight Howard might be involved in. The situation has ignited curiosity and a sense of worry among followers, questioning the broader implications of his actions and choices. A user said, Dwight Howard is receiving his karma and then some for how he allegedly treated her. The ex-Taiwanese league player is currently embroiled in a loss suit after a lover accused him of s assault another user said i'm proud of you braylon it's time for children to stand up to their absent parents many parents who spend 80 percent with the kids are tired of telling the absent parents the same rhetoric over and over again if a man got time for a new relationship he should have time for his children i don't know royce reed personally however this mother has gone over and beyond to make sure all his kids stay connected she is not bitter by a long shot. Whatever money she's getting for him is put to good use. She's not squandering money on materialistic goods. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching.